What's up, Gemini? This is going to be a love forecast for the first half of May. This is for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment and share. It really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok. And Instagram, if you want to follow me over there, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. First half of May. Any love messages for my Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First half of May. King, uh, Queen of Swords, that's you, Gemini. Five of Cups, the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles with the Justice card in the reverse in the overall. Okay, it seems to me there's a sense of like getting very clear on something, Queen of Swords, maybe speaking a truth um, in a situation where there seems to be some regrets or some sadness or some loss. Um, there's a page of cups here in the reverse, so I want to get one on that. With the nine of pentacles and the justice card in the overall, I mean, there is a sense of self-focus. You could just be taking a step back from someone, um, really focusing on your career. This is a very independent energy. It's also like trying to get yourself into a space of feeling very self-sufficient and good about yourself because something here has led to like some some regrets or some sadness. I mean, page of cups in the reverse with the moon in the reverse, I feel that there's a situation that doesn't feel very balanced with the justice card. Maybe there's a sense of it feels unfair or you feel you've been investing more or doing more or there's been some behavior where you feel like it just wasn't wasn't right. Maybe you feel like this person needs to make things right. Um, Libra energy there. Look, the moon in the reverse with the page of cups in the reverse. So something here, it's like there could be, you know, queen of swords is truth. The moon is deception. Now, it doesn't sometimes... It sometimes is deception, deception. Like you could feel that you realize that what this person, um, that this person hasn't been totally sincere or honest with you. Um, but more so, I think like deception can kind of also come from a place where people are just not kind of, they're wearing a mask or they're, they're avoidant. Or they're not being upfront in the way that they deal with things. You know what I mean? Um, the moon in the reverse means things are coming to light and the queen of swords does mean truth. So something here is coming up to be addressed. Now the five of cups, now it could be that there is gonna be some sadness around that. Um, maybe there is a conversation that needs to be had and you're taking control and having that conversation. Maybe you are cutting someone away, Gemini. Um, because you're realizing that maybe it's it's not right for you, it's not fair, the situation. Let me get a little bit more about that. The moon, three of swords, but then you're equally also getting over it. Three of swords is in the reverse. Now, for some of you, you're dealing with a situation with a person where there is a lingering heartbreak or a lingering third party energy that hasn't been released, or maybe that's you, Gemini, okay? Um, maybe there's something that's coming up for you that you know, where there's been loss and you haven't dealt with that and it is affecting the connection or throwing the connection off balance. Um, the star card is in the upright. There's something here that is being healed and also not moving forward. Okay, Gemini. So it seems to be like, I'm getting that you might be having a conversation with a person um, where there may be some hurt feelings. I also feel like the hurt feelings could come from other situations with other people, eight of cups. I know that maybe I'm not making much sense, but it's almost like there's a situation, Virgo, with a person that I think it's like until something is healed, the, the connection doesn't work. Like there's a lack of balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that could be on your end. You could be realizing that there's some, some stuff that you need to deal with, maybe stuff from the past um, that's hurt you or a person you haven't completely gotten over um, or that's lingering or you're dealing with someone and that's the case or you're both dealing with someone and that's the case. And so there is this sense of 
this this isn't really moving forward eight of wands or, or there's also a struggle maybe with the communication maybe there's a lot of um, blocks and avoidance here because the eight of swords and the seven of swords okay so there is this sense of wanting to walk away because something here maybe doesn't feel authentic is what I'm getting um, Gemini so look, you might be taking a step back, you might be deciding to break it off, but either way, there is this self-focus, Nine of Pentacles, okay? Um, tell me a bit more about that moon in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the reverse. There's a Magician card and the Fool card in the reverse. It's like something's been manifesting with this person, but then there's this feeling of, I'm not ready, the Fool card in the reverse. So someone here, it's like maybe you were going towards something and then now there's suddenly, there's a, a roadblock there's a bit of this block, a roadblock and an emotional block. And someone is going to be saying to the other person, look, I'm not ready yet. Now, this could involve um, something, someone at a distance or travel could be a factor here with the full card. And there is this sense of, look, I don't know if I'm ready um, emotionally and otherwise. OK, <sighs> this is hard to get out. Sorry. Um, Gemini, I've been apologizing all my reads. It is Mercury retrograde, so I'm struggling a little bit. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups, like there could be distrust between you and this person. Now, I don't know that the distrust is necessarily like founded. I feel like if there, there is third party energy that's being concealed or hasn't been discussed, it's not anyone in the present that's hanging on. But it could be that there's unresolved feelings that are interfering with the intimacy factor in your connection and again Gemini that could be on your end as well but the main thing is is that something here is stopping the intimacy or there's yeah there's a sense of you know seven of swords is when we kind of sneak away or we're avoidant or, we're, or we don't we don't deal with the issues and I've got an eight of cups, which is about a disconnect, walking away. So it's leading to a lack of fulfillment in the situation. Nine, guys, you can't make it up. So I know that I'm struggling today and I might sound like I'm babbling, but a lack of fulfillment and it came out in the reverse, the nine of cups. So it's leading to a lack of fulfillment in this situation. Okay. Now we can go through all the reasons why and, uh, that things are the way they are. It might just be that this isn't the right connection for you, Gemini. Or maybe you're just taking a step back because you're like, look, something here needs to, I need space to consider this. But yeah, Queen of Swords, yeah, I need space to consider this. Four of Cups. I don't know if this is the cup for me. I'm feeling a bit apathetic about it. Um, I'm also just not feeling fulfilled. There also could be this sort of triggering between the two of you where you feel emotionally rejected because either one or, or the other or both of you are a little bit standoffish with one another because there's unresolved pain here or there's the past that hasn't been released or maybe you have had some hurt feelings between the two of you and you haven't resolved it and it just keeps coming up. Um, it just seems to be that there's, there's definitely a sta uh, taking a step back. Why do we have the fool in the reverse? The two of wands, you know what? It was sitting here and I didn't take it. I shuffled and it came out. The two of wands in the reverse. There also seems to be maybe like, look, we've been manifesting this, but when I really look at it, like it, there's doesn't seem to be um, much of a plan. Like if I'm going to take this leap and really go for it with you, I also don't really see the direction forward. There just seems to be a mismatch here, Gemini. That's all. I mean, there's a holding on for a pentacles. You're holding on to one another, but then there's also this withholding, not kind of giving every, everything to, to each other. Um, I mean, the magician card is, is your energy, Gemini energy and, and Virgo, but it's, it's about manifestation. It just seems like what you're trying to create is not aligning with what it is or what's there. Okay, Hierophant card in the reverse. It could be a mismatch of values. You could be from different backgrounds, um, which shouldn't matter, but it just could be, it's like you're not seeing eye to eye. Um, and so on one hand, there is this holding on. On the other hand, maybe there's this, should we go the whole way? Should we get married? Should we commit? Or no, I'm not sure. Um, there's a holding back. I don't know, guys, I'm just, anyway. Um, I'll get a little bit on this person and how they feel about you. So tell me, spirit, please, for Gemini, how does this person feel? towards Gemini and what are they coming forward with now in May? 
I think this is like a time out, you know? I think that you're taking time with the Nine of Pentacles, you're gonna focus on you, you could be just very focused on work and career. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Maybe you're doing some processing because especially if you have some like hurt feelings or an ex that you haven't sort of completely released or pain coming up from that, there could be a bit of releasing going on. Yeah, we've got the Nine, Oh God, all Cups cards and they're all in the reverse, Gemini. Queen of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So Gemini, what are their feelings towards you? There seems to just be this lack of fulfillment. Whilst I think that there is a lot of emotion here, it's not coming up as very forthright or balanced. So I do think this person can be very loving or very charming, but something then blocks it it could be very inconsistent or the knight of cups in reverse it's like there's a page of cups in reverse here there's there's an inability to really show or deal there's a there's an emotional immaturity okay i mean queen of cups in the reverse it can be emotionally maybe withdrawn or um yeah i mean what are their intentions now moving through um may I mean, maybe they feel you're not sort of wanting to continue. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse, so you don't want to, you don't want to persist and have have a new start, a new cycle, or maybe they're sort of thinking twice about it. But the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I mean, the Seven of Swords is in the upright here, and it's in the reverse here. Seven of Swords in the reverse can also mean caught out. Maybe there is going to be a, a caught out or a calling out around an issue. Um, either you to them or them to you. And it's like something here needs to shift with the wheel of fortune. So um, let me see. And the six of cups. Something needs to shift in order to have a reconciliation, like a proper reconciliation to reconcile the issues. Page of pentacles. Okay, so the truth is they their intentions, so they could be coming back, um, Gemini, and wanting to reconcile with you. And wanting to make an offer page of pentacles but in the emotional space there is really um a, they're feeling pretty unfulfilled okay and again that might not be your fault that could just be something from within them um the six of cups is about the past so maybe there's an awareness that they need to work through the past the seven of swords and the six of cups gemini there could be something coming through like i did call out that there could be x's around lingering or someone that hasn't been released either that's you or them or both of you but this is a court out to do with the past so maybe something's coming to light around um, a third party energy that's returned or is lingering three of swords okay see i can't make it up guys i know i'm not doing my best at articulating today but that's that three of swords, three of swords. So they, I think that there's something that this person is dealing with or they're aware you're dealing with, okay, um, that is causing the block between the two of you and, and there's a trying to get over it. So I think this person knows. It's not necessarily like this person is, is riding off with some past person and having a new start elsewhere. I think that there may be someone from the past that is still in their energy or has returned, but they are understanding that it's more, they need to get over it in order to have a positive shift with you, with the wheel of destiny and the page of pentacles. So there could be that reconciling issues and a getting very honest with one another about some stuff, you know, especially if someone's been concealing the fact that there's still like an ex around or, un, you know, feelings there. Um, but there's opportunity maybe to turn this around and to reconcile if you want to. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. So if there's been any kind of juggling or back and forth, this person's intentions is to not do that anymore. Um, let's see, the Lover's card. So they feel a connection to you, Gemini, like a Lover's card. That is Gemini energy. Um, but it's also this choices, decision. So someone here feels the other one is indecisive, not 100% involved, maybe not honest, maybe there's suspicion around a third party. It's like everything needs to get out on the table is what I'm hearing. And what's the outcome here, at least from this person's perspective? Knight of Swords, okay, and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's going to be communication, um, Gemini, 
and probably talk about you know a new beginning ace of pentacles but the knight of swords can also be abrupt endings it could go either way gemini i think that's because both of you may be a bit unsure or indecisive um, about what you want or about whether this can work nine of cups in the reverse again and you're both feeling a bit unfulfilled oh my gosh you can't make it up gemini nine of cups in the reverse and the eight of cups and here on this side you've got from another deck this that they're sitting on top of each other they didn't come out together but eight of cups and the nine of cups in the reverse so there seems to be a sense of either walking away from the past and what's not working or or um, anything that's interfering with the connection that's leading to a lack of fulfillment or walk away from this situation because it's just not fulfilling okay now i know i'm not being clear in a prediction but it can go either way is what i'm getting but the nine of cups in the reverse for so some of you are dealing with a situation where you or them or both of you might have some addictions or some reckless behaviors with that nine of cups in the reverse and the knight of swords and maybe this person they're going to drunk dial you or there's going to be some re reckless exchange and it could be involving some overindulging or drinking anyway like i said ace of pentacles eight of cups renew or walk away i don't know i think that it's undecided um i think that you're like going to be wanting to focus on you to make a decision for yourself um, when you feel clear <sighs> really weird read gemini i'm sorry soulmate yes this is your soulmate well that's the lovers card okay let's see children your love life is being affected by children well that might be the case for some of you um but i think that this is like wounded inner child you know like immaturity i mean the moon card came out before and the moon card is um didn't it yeah the moon card in the reverse so there's things that are becoming clear that were maybe subconscious as well so you know sometimes issues from the past or people from the past re-emerge but it's for the purpose of showing you clearly something that was a pattern that needed to be fixed and that pattern also could connect to childhood wounding or the way we were nurtured maybe both of you have similar wounds you know there could be a lot of this like triggering and projection page of cups in the reverse with the moon card in the reverse the wounded inner child um reconciliation i told you so there is this wanting to reconcile but then i've also got someone from your past is returning so you or them there could be a past person that's sort of lingering as well right as i said and then attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so there's something here about being able to let go of the past and let go of past people issues in order to actually enjoy love in the moment there is still attraction between the two of you but there seems to be a lot of this carrying crap from the outside or from unresolved issues into the connection worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so look gemini if this doesn't work out spirit is saying to you it's okay it might work out in the future you may need to take a break or go off and do your own thing nine of pentacles is making yourself single and available um maybe the timing is not right there's some healing that needs to take place um yeah and maybe it will come back around or maybe that's just about being patient with one another because that's like the temperance card <laughs> right passion so there is a lot of passion here um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and playfulness to re recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine i think that you you do need to have a bit of playfulness this all looks a very very heavy and i think you want to focus now on having a bit of fun this nine of cups in the reverse on both ends it's like maybe you've lost that joy with each other there's just been too much too heavy um, a weight on both of you too much you know conflict um, it's time to sort of get back into that sort of self-fulfillment and enjoyment and maybe playfulness even with each other or separately okay <laughs> all right gemini i hope that resonated for you um and if so you can give me a like and a comment please and i will check in with you guys in two weeks time lots of love